We're excited to announce the launch of underfloor heating in H2X. In the next few minutes, we'll show you how it works from start to finish. To get started, draw the room outline. This defines the boundaries where the underfloor heating pipes will run. If you already have a heat loss value, you can skip configuring materials or other settings to calculate this. Just select the room, scroll to the bottom of the properties panel and enter the heat loss value. So for example, input 200 watts. Next, configure the loop settings to tailor the design to your project. Adjust details like floor finish, pipe material and size, maximum loop length and spacing, and choose your preferred loop shape, either serpentine or spiral. To begin the design process, add a manifold by placing it where needed, such as against a wall. Clicking on the manifold reveals its properties on the right, allowing you to customize visual settings like width and depth. For the key technical adjustments, head to the technical tab. Here you can review and override calculations, such as flow and return temperatures, giving you complete control over the system's performance. Loop generation is fast and automated. With just one click, the software can generate all the loops for the selected rooms. If a loop exceeds the maximum length, the software highlights it with a red box, prompting you to adjust. Use the heated area partition tool to divide the loops. So just by clicking on walls, it will divide the area and create more loops so the length is reduced. If you need to exclude areas where the pipe shouldn't run, use the unheated area tool to define these zones. So for example, if you want to avoid the kitchen counters or a kitchen island, mark those areas and the loops will automatically reroute. The software doesn't have direct loop editing tools, but instead you can use unheated areas to give you flexibility whilst refining your design. So for example, if you don't want the loop to extend into this part of the room, add an unheated area and it will update the loop to avoid it. You can also use unheated areas to straighten out loops, such as here coming out of the manifold. The software will always optimize loop layouts to minimize pipe usage. If you ever need to refine your design, you can add wall pass-throughs and this will adjust the loop path. So for example, in this room, we can add a wall pass-through so the transit pipes can come the opposite way. This reduces the length from 52 meters to 44 meters. Individual room settings can be refined at any point, should they differ from the global defaults. So for example, you can switch this room's loop shape to spiral, update the floor finish, or override the loop spacing. And these updates are applied instantly. Once your design is complete, review the results. The software provides a variety of filters to display key information, but for a comprehensive overview, export your design to a PDF. This will include all critical details, such as manifold specifications, loop schedules, and then all the layout visuals. You can even customize the export with your own cover sheet, notes page, and title blocks. The bill of materials export further simplifies pricing and quoting by providing a complete breakdown of components, including floor areas, manifold details, actuators, valves, and much more. If you're interested, schedule a live demo with our product experts and start a two-week free trial today.